Ooh, spoilers. Um, but first, I just want to say that this is a real screenshot that I took. Um, 99.8, I think it was. Whatever, whatever the number. Um, if you find yourself coming back, please subscribe. It makes me really happy. Um, but yeah, go on to the rest of the video. What is up? And I cannot stress this enough, my gamers. Welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be taking apart a TV and trying to fix it. So, uh, let's get started. So, this is a Samsung, uh... I'll put the model number on the screen. Basically, it just stopped turning on. There's no, it doesn't do anything at all. We are back with some ratchets. Wow. Okay. I'm pretty sure there's screws all the way around the perimeter. So I'm going to get started on that. Okay, there we go. I just need a bigger screwdriver. <laughs> Look how many freaking screws are in that thing. I've got them arranged, so hopefully I can tell which is which. But now let's get this thing open. So nothing appears wrong, just looking at it. There we go. The problems I've heard are with these power supply boards, which eventually just go bad. So I'm gonna unscrew this thing. There, there it is, power supply board. Okay, so this is the back of the power supply board. And I was systematically looking at all the solder joints. If you see the DX807, there's a burn mark and the solder is like completely broken. So maybe that is what's causing our problem. Um, yeah, so I'm going to keep checking 
Um, but yeah, hopefully if I solder that up um, with my very limited soldering skills, keep in mind, um, then and we turn it on, it'll work again, maybe. Um, but yeah. Um, but I'll go back up to the desk to do that. Basically, my soldering iron is very covered in plastic, so this is going to get interesting. Yeah, I gotta deal with this soldering iron. This is not working. Hold up. Okay, so it's been like, I don't know, 30 minutes, but uh, basically, I've done some things I'm not proud of, but there's no more plastic on it. Well, there is still some plastic on it, but you know. Um, what you gonna get? Quick disclaimer, I am terrible at soldering. I've never had any official lessons or anything. I've never even like watched a tutorial. Um, but yeah. Uh, so don't like get mad at me for not knowing how to solder because I know I don't know how to solder, okay? Okay, so my head was in front of it the whole time, so sorry you couldn't see the actual process but it doesn't seem to be bridging anything it shouldn't and I know it looks like it does from y'all's angle uh, but I mean I would say not my finest work but I don't really do this in general so hopefully that's that'll work uh, um, let's go put that back on the TV and see if it works. Okay, here we are. Now, I went ahead and screwed in the power supply board and plugged it in. And now, when I push this, hopefully it'll make noises or light up or something. Okay. Let me try to tip this up. Okay. So that didn't work. I lack the expertise to go any further, which sucks, but at least we got to see what was inside, you know? Turns out I failed. I don't know if it was that I didn't reconnect the solder joint properly, but, uh, or it was something else. I think, I suspect it's something else, because I feel like if it was only that solder joint, it would do, it would do at least something. Wait, it was a bad power outlet, look. It's doing things, it's buzzing. Wait, oh my God, I just did the outro. And I went and I was like, maybe it's a bad power outlet. Yeah, <laughs> no way. Oh my God, I'm the smartest man in the world. Look, it's doing TV things. Holy sh, what? So it was just that. No way. There it is. I did, I did an outro, outro before this, um, but I guess I gotta do another one. Yeah, there it is. Um, that's nuts. Yeah, so just, there's just that one transistor. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, like it, if you subscribed it, subscribe it, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.